Okay, so here we are for today's latest property offering. Right in the heart of the village, you've got cracking views over countryside, and then you've got uh, this gorgeous property, which has basically been rebuilt. You'll see a picture in the video. This was a small bungalow, and the owners have created a nearly 6,000 square foot uh, property. Today, I'm presenting to you Lodge Mount. Come have a look. Hello and welcome to today's latest property offering where we find ourselves in the picturesque and countryside village of South Leverton. The village itself boasts a public house and a village hall which is the centre of the community. The neighbouring village North Leverton offers a primary school, it's got a public house and a shop with a post office as well as your local doctor's surgery. Uh, the market town of Retford is a short drive away, offers all your local supermarkets, shops, restaurants and bars, as well as a mainline train station giving links to London's King's Cross. The A1 is perfectly placed at Markham Moor and giving links to the region's major towns and cities. All your tourist attractions are on your doorstep. You've got Sundown Adventure in the next village. You've got Clumber Park, Sherwood Forest and Yorkshire Wildlife a little further away. And you do have Lincoln, which offers you the, the castle and cathedral, as well as some gorgeous boutique shops. Okay, so now we'll have a look at the internal accommodation and what an entrance hall to be greeted with. It's a stunning open plan entrance hall. Uh, you've got gorgeous solid oak flooring here. Look at the staircase going up to that gallery landing up there. It's an absolutely cracking feature. One thing I am just gonna point out, just take a look at this. So this is what the property was before and obviously to what we've got now. So they've done well, they've literally rebuilt this house, extended it. It's on a huge plot. And I'm just going to point out here. So it's a property where you've got six bedrooms. Let's just call it in the main house upstairs. You've got six bedrooms, but there is a potential for um, a business opportunity here, maybe. So to the left here, which we can have a look at in a minute, um, we've got a potential little one bedroom annex where you can shut it off here. It's got its own door. Um, a kitchen area, entrance hall, shower room and potential bedroom or use it how you like. And then further on from the property we've got a potential again two stroke three bedroomed annex. But for now we're going to have a look at the kitchen area. Look at this island, it's an absolute cracker. You've got a double Belfast sink unit there, nice worktops, plenty of storage cupboards and drawers, etc. You've got your Argo, which is oil fired, um, and then your ovens here with the hob and extractor hood over. You've got a little breakfast bar here, so a lovely feature. You can get the kids, you can. It's just a lovely room if you are entertaining, you've got children or if you've got friends and family over, it's an absolutely cracking, entertaining house. Uh, and then you go into the dining area. Uh, so you can imagine here just uh, enjoying family meals, friends, family, as I've mentioned, and then you've got your double doors leading out onto a nice courtyard area there. Um, so great for the summer months, it just flows so well. Uh, and now we'll go have a look at the living space. So again, you've got a gorgeous um, living room here uh, with a feature electric fireplace there. So you've got some nice uh, LVT Antico flooring here. Um, and then this is where we're gonna cut it off at the moment, but this is where you could potentially again have a annex. So whether that's for family, if you've got two generations living in the property, um, or you want a business opportunity, again, you can separate it there from the main house. Um, and there's two, potentially three bedrooms there with a shower room and their own living room there. But we'll have a look at that in a minute. Now we're gonna pop upstairs. Okay, so again, just look at this uh, staircase leading to this gorgeous, gorgeous landing area. It's really nice and light, spacious. You've got cracking views over open countryside there. We're going to start with the master bedroom because it's my favourite room here. So it's the, probably the best bedroom. 
and it's a lovely feature. So look at this. What an absolutely cracking space you've got. And check this out. You've got the tub, shower around the corner, the potty's there and the wash basin there. But can you imagine waking up to that every day? Views down the garden, which as you'll see, just goes on and on and on. So you've got a little secret, come follow me. Dressing area. So look at this. Currently used as a bit of a study area, but you've got fitted wardrobes. Ladies and gentlemen's fitted wardrobes here. So it's a lovely master bedroom suite. I love the fact that uh, ensuite area is open plan. Um, it's got that really, really cosy feel to it. But now we'll go and have a look at the other bedrooms. So I'm just gonna point out, you've got the family bathroom there. So you've got a P-shaped bath with a rain shower over. Um, you've got another double bedroom in here and then another double bedroom here. Lovely views over the front windows. A nice size double room. Again, you've got fitted wardrobes there. And then we're just going to finish off with the last bedroom on this, uh, this level because it keeps going and going. So here you've got, it's currently being used as a bit of a massage room. Uh, so the massage bed's out, but one of the features of this property, it's got a heat recovery system. So you will see these. So it's basically making sure that you've got clean air coming through the property at all times. So you've got a nice Velux window there. All the heat recovery system is in there as well. But again, this would work as a little one's bedroom, but there's more in this part. So we'll go upstairs. Okay, so we're on the top floor now, which offers um, two big bedrooms. So we'll go and have a look at those first. Or, as the current owner is, it's just a great room, whether you've got older children, still at home, uh, they could have this as a bit of a living room and a bedroom through there with their own bathroom, or you need the space for the bedroom. So this would easily work as a big double bedroom. You've got the Velux window there overlooking the garden. So these two bedrooms utilize this bathroom here. So you've got the shower in the corner, toilet, wash basin, etc. Bit of a study area or a seating area here. And then we go into another big double bedroom. So as you can see, look at this gorgeous little feature on the wall and you've got some wardrobe space there. And again, your Velux window overlooking the garden there. So that completes the main house accommodation. Now, it's not, a mate, it's not a normal house, this one. It's got loads of extras. So now we're going to show you what I'd call the extras, um, whether it's a business, whether it's a older generation of your family living at home with you. So this is where you could have a kind of attached annex. This is obviously a library at the moment with gorgeous oak um, bookshelves here, currently being used as a bit of a games room. However, it would easily suit if someone wanted to put a kitchen in here. So I'm just gonna put that in your mind. So this could be the kitchen area and stairs leading up to this absolutely stunning living room. So as you can see, you've got a nice open fireplace there. Um, it's been obviously built for this room. It's an absolute cracker. Then you've got bifolding doors here leading onto your garden. So again, it could be separate from the actual main house. You've got lots of little areas on this house where it's easily to separate. Um, and then look at this. So this could be a little dining area, uh, currently used as a bit of a music room with that baby here. So as, as you can see, there's plenty of space within this room as well. Um, so now we'll go and have a look upstairs at the bedrooms and I'll just explain a little bit more about that. I'm just gonna point out there, you've got a double bedroom there. It's got its own toilet actually and sinks, so and that's really useful. Uh, you've got another double bedroom there. And then this could be a bedroom. It could be a bit of a living room. You know, if you are renting it out, maybe Airbnb. Uh, they've got a bit of a seating area here, but again, it would easily make that third bedroom up here in this annex. And you've even got a little, uh, a little secret shower room in there. So you've got a shower, a toilet and wash basin in there as well. So that completes the accommodation for this property. Um, now we'll go and have a look outside and there's a lot more to come out there. Okay, so just to clarify, we're coming off the dining kitchen area here. 
So you've got double doors leading into this spectacular entertaining area. What a gorgeous patio. As you can see, the current owners utilize this in the summer months. Nice table set here. The barbie's there, ready to go. Not be long now. And they've even got a hot tub. Uh, you can get access round to the front as well. Uh, it does house the oil um, tank as well. You've got bifolding doors. That, just so you're getting the, the grips of where we are, that comes off the library, games room, potential kitchen area uh, that I've spoken about. So this, again, just to give you an idea, we're coming off the main living room that's got that gorgeous fireplace and the open fire. So you've got bifolding doors here. So this could be a little garden area for that second generation of family that might be using it, or if you are gonna rent this property out as maybe a bit of a, uh, an Airbnb type um, thing. So you've got a gorgeous entertaining area here, steps leading up to more garden. This just keeps going and going. So again, I'm just gonna point it out. You've got another gorgeous patio area here. Uh, so you're gonna get the sun nearly enough all day here. The garden, as you'll see in a minute, just keeps going and going and going. So I hope you're a garden lover. Maybe you're into sports. There might be a bit of a football pitch down there or a bit of a cricket pitch if you want it. You've got a huge garage here. So it's kind of a double garage, but going backwards. Electric roller door there. And then this driveway. So you've got an expansive parking here. You've got gated access there. So obviously giving you privacy and security. And then as you'll see down there, there's a little stable door. So that just gives you access into that potential little downstairs one bedroom annex um, that you might rent out or you might put grandma in as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour. If you are looking for a substantial, it's nearly 6,000 square foot um, family home, with, which could be multi-generational. So you might have grandma and granddad living with you. You might be looking for that little business opportunity which you could rent out maybe this part um, as a, you know, they've got their own access basically. Plenty of parking, um, a huge garden on a, on a gorgeous plot in the village of South Leverton. Please give Alistair a call 07854 862 101. Thank you.